Hi guys, this is Kidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. In the last part, oh, that's going to be such a hard habit to break, um, and I've already mentioned that. But anywho, they meant they're mentioning Tanaka's amazing commodities, which I have never done before in my first playthrough. But I guess maybe now I'll actually try to get into it if it doesn't consume time. <laughs> Keyword. I really hope it doesn't, because that would suck. Um. Anywho, so what are we gonna do today? I feel like freaking Phineas. <laughs> like honestly, um, I have a brief idea. No, I actually, I actually previewed what I'm doing today, so you know I'm not too far in the dusk. I mean, I skipped all of it, but I know generally what we're doing. Um, so anyways, <laughs> let's talk to Chihiro. Uh, uh, more anime shit. Has anyone seen? I guess I have to be the otaku here. Has anyone ever seen um the world God only knows? Because that's pretty keen. And there's a person in Chihiro, and yeah, blah blah blah. Anywho, we had to talk to her. Um, because she is a social link. And speaking of social links, how am I doing on that? As good as I think I'm doing, I don't think I'm doing so good. If that makes any sense. Um, like honestly, I only have a few. Like, I mean, like I'm pretty sure I've been getting like a social link every single day I could possibly get a social link. But I still have the feeling that like anybody following a guide would still be doing better than me, which is astonishing, but that's actually pretty, pretty sort of the truth. Um, so let's go back into the classroom, because I don't know, I don't know why, see Yukari or something, maybe? Or I could just, you know, jump up to Palolonia Mall. Yes, I know what I'm doing, even though this is post-com. That was recorded, like, literally, like, the game footage was recorded months ago, probably, or maybe a month ago, realistically. Hmm, no. I mean, that's just a lot of time. But, um... Yes, we want to accept one of Elizabeth's, Elizabeth's requests. Um, because it's actually one of the fun ones. This is something not in the original Persona 3. This is Elizabeth's dates, and you can actually do these, and, um... They're really funny, and, uh, they don't actually consume time, which is, like, the best thing ever. I mean, they consume mine, your time, but they don't consume, actually, in-game Persona time. Which the fact that I'm putting that in higher regard than real time is sort of saddening. Um, there is a freaking cockroach on my wall, and you know what? Screw you, cockroach. There, yeah, there you go. Take a book. <laughs> Back to Persona 3. Ah uh, yes, an This one is voice acted. I forgot. That makes things so much more what this wonderful. This must be a fountain. It makes sport of water, well known to all to be the foundation <laughs> of life. Oh, uh, me and my friends always talk about that, like. If some like third world country kids could look at this app found and be so pissed, I swear. We are horrible people. Oh, uh, there's a bigger story about that, but maybe some other time. Although is now now's what what's, what's a better time than the present? I mean, like, when am I ever gonna be talking about fountains and wasting water again? Who knows? Maybe I'll I'll be significantly surprised if I do, but let's see. I'm looking forward to the future. Oh, I shall make an opening bid to the fountain spirit of one million yen. <laughs> you don't have to do any conversion to know that's a lot of freaking money. And this Kakaroach wants more book! Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too blaringly loud. <laughs> and anyways, yeah, everyone's just looking like, holy shit, that's a lot of money, but you know, Minato. I was so calm and collected and any, as ever. Going. It's just like, oh cool, a million yen. <laughs> I mean, this at this point in the game, that's a lot of freaking money, I'll be honest with you. I mean, we could use that money, but you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm talking over Elizabeth talking, and I like Elizabeth's voice. It's really, like, exotic. <laughs> I guess you could say I can't really pick up the accent, but I like it. So distant. Not like anything you'd see anywhere else. So, hmm. yes, the what police. What is this facility here? There are some stern-faced gentlemen inside. Hmm, okay, okay. <laughs> nothing to comment there. I mean, because, you know, a witty remark for absolutely every single line is totally necessary, right? Yeah, pretty much. You know, find them, bring them their severed head, and then, you know, come back and get their prize. Right? Do they require a piece of the body? <laughs> My interest is there you peaked. go, peaked guys. P I Q U E D. Now that you heard this word in Persona 3, you will now hear it forever and ever in every day in your everyday common speech. That's what I've noticed. Like that's like the first time I've ever heard the word peaked. P I Q U E D is from this game, and then like after that point, my eyes were just opened. 
it was, it's, it's a weird experience. Look out for that like word now, because you'll be surprised how often it comes up. <laughs> Dancers, dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A I love that. <laughs> How like, oh, that's a, that's such a fancy way of describing club. I mean, I'm not like a big like book fan, so I, my vocabulary isn't quite exquisite. But I almost want to like improve my vernacular just for the fact that I can make like the word club make <laughs> sound as extravagant as Elizabeth makes it. And that was some fantastic dancing, Ooh, Elizabeth. That was Quite satisfying. <laughs> Indeed it was. But I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. I know. Everywhere I look, something catches If you're feeling, if you're feeling, um... If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could recommend uh, the next activity. Um, uh, uh, karaoke. Of course. I mean, karaoke. I'm sure the arcade would have been just... I don't think we would have got a stat boost from the car. <laughs> I know you won't. See, look at that. That's it just so extravagant. Oh dear. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, I mean, if Elizabeth was it, it feels too like out of home, we could always just take her to an elevator. She fit right in. <laughs> and. One million more yen because she is just loaded. <laughs> Why? Where does she get all the money? Hmm. That elevator attendant yes, job pays like a fortune, I guess. The, the velvet side. room. I, I mean, I mean, we do end up having to give her money later in the game when something else happens. Here. When we get more access to stuff, rather. But you know, still, you gotta admit, she gets, she, she, she has sources. I'm assuming. Okay, so. You spent a long time. We we sang karaoke. Did Minato have to pay for that? <laughs> not to sound cheap in here or anything. Well, no. I mean, I feel. I mean, that's Thank not significant figure-wise here. You could have just taken you know, one or two today. coins out of the freaking three million yen worth of found yen worth of found. Pay for it. But I'd like to accompany uh, you again sometime. Yes, Minato. Why are you such? Why are you such? Why are you such the ladies man? I swear. <laughs> He didn't even have to say a thing. He said what? He said, sort of, karaoke, and I'm pretty sure it's just superstition, and that's about it. So, um, accept a request. Hey, remember that thing that just happened literally like 15 seconds ago? Yeah. Can I get my, um, prize for that? It's funny, because she doesn't even, she talks about it like it was so long ago. Aw, oh, and she can't turn the velvet room into a club. Oh, it's unfortunate. This place would be happening, I swear. <laughs> this looks like a cool look cool looking place. Igor could be like the DJ. Yeah, I can see this working out. Um, but, um, I'm pretty sure for all of the, uh, the Elizabeth dates, our reward is being able to fuse a specific persona. Um, if you ever, if you try to use the two persona, like, components to actually fuse whatever, who, a po, or what we got, you'd probably get some other persona, but now that we actually have the you know, trigger to unlock Huapo, then we can actually fuse Huapo, who I'm sure she's decently good. Um, speaking of, <laughs> now, now I'm questioning my, um, past me, because I don't know what the hell I am doing at freaking Bukichi's bookstore place, I mean, um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I consider this, this, what, this social link and a few others something I'd like to coin a, a, a fallback social link, because you should only go here if absolutely nobody else is available. These guys are available every single day of the week. Even when like everyone's like everyone from school has gone studying, which will be a horrible thing that happens maybe a few weeks from now. <laughs> Both in game and me uploading time. But yeah, so um you only want to go to these guys when your schoolmates aren't available. And I'm gonna have to assume the only reason my schoolmates aren't available is because I don't have any social links that are available on Saturday. Which is kind of stupid of me, because if I just raise the Chariot Arcana one more level, I'm fairly sure there was gonna be a person, a new social link I could have got that was available on sun Saturday. So here are the, the seeds of the seeds of incompetence are planting viewers are planting viewers. Um, so that's like a first mistake I could make. I mean, obviously I'm still doing a social link, but it's not it's not an important social link there's gonna be a day where I can't hang out with anyone then like I already have max this social link and then it's gonna be like oh man what do I do now 
or maybe I'm just overanalyzing this, but wasn't um wasn't something happening to these old people? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been talking over. I can talk. I should be talking like randomly rambling when I'm like doing a freaking <laughs> seven-minute-long boss fight. Um, <laughs> instead of important dialogue, don't you think? So, anyways, I guess their their son died. Um, yeah, that's horrible. So bittersweet because we get a social link boost for that. Yeah, that was. Looking back, this is incredibly stupid of me. I could be rambling about this, you know, when I'm fighting that one boss fight in Tartarus that I've yet to fight that I'm probably going to finish today, but you know, no. Talk over dialogue, because that's the coolest thing to be doing. Um, yes, Dark. Figuratively, of course, Bunkichi, you are just a poet. <laughs> I like the name Bunkichi, though. I like it a lot. Mm, so, anywho, it's evening. And the music got all... Yeah, whatever. It's gone now. Back to this. The dorm music. <laughs> um, yes, I'll just... <laughs> whatever's... Midterms! Oh, gosh. Yes. Uh, it's not the studying that's the bull part. It's the part that everyone seems... To, everyone else is studying that's horrible. So on 5-2, make sure you talk to Yukari, because, um... She'll mention pine resin, and you need pine resin to do one of Elizabeth's really random ass requests. Um, she'll tell you it's available on 5-2. Typically, if she says something, like ask someone, it's someone in the dorm, and it's always available on that day if you just talk to enough people. Um, I don't know if they mentioned this, but Yukari is the only member of the archery team, which is, I don't know. That would have made for an interesting social link, I mean, honestly, just like, if we joined the archery team, like, you know, just Minato and Yukari, but no, it doesn't. It's disappointing. <laughs> so, anywho, let's begin our descent. Ascent, rather. Sorry. <laughs> to Tartarus, and let's fight this guy for the rest of the video. Honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, social links? <laughs> no, I can't talk about that anymore. I've already got my point across, I guess. So anywho, um, our persona right now is Aramitama. That is the persona I recommend you to have during this boss fight. Um, because it has Rakunda, which is a debuff that lowers their attack? Oh no, defense. Just as good. Um, because we can do no more damage now. Um, typically, as with any RPGs, debuffs and buffs are pretty much essential when it comes to the harder fights. I mean, I never... I never find myself using them during, like, you know, random encounters, but during boss fights, that's pretty damn required. Um, and as a little fallback, I'm actually gonna switch to Omi Akane. Um, oh, and I'm also gonna... <laughs> that's so comical. Switching Junpei to, um, Kyo support, because you can actually change the AI of your, of your AI to do different things. Um, the reason I'm just switching Junpei, not because Junpei is a good, good healer, that's actually Yukari's role, but because, um... This guy happens to be really resistant to cleave, which is Junpei's main attack, and I'm pretty sure he's also resistant to fire, and I'm pretty sure Yukari is pretty vulnerable to dying. Um, Omi Akane is, um, actually strong against Thunder, which is why I'm using him. If you want to take... <laughs> and it's kind of funny, because, like, I... I it, it's it's kind of overkill to have him at this point in time. It's, I mean, like, the difference between Aramitama and, and um, Omi Akane is just one level, but that one level is such a big difference when when, it, when you like take into the fact that like you know the random encounters only give you like five XP per battle. It's kind of I'm wasting my time when I look back at it. Um, but yeah, so Omi Akane is Omi Akane is strong against Thunder, so that way Minato won't be dying too fast. I mean, Army Tama also is you know strong against some type of physical attack. I think he uses. So, you know, it's kind of useful on that department, but Omi Akane is just to make sure I don't die. In all regards, this boss fight is actually deceptively hard. I mean, at this point in the game, I mean, there's nothing really to grind on for massive amounts. Um, Aramitama is about as good as it gets if it comes to personas, if you want to, you know, not waste a billion hours, you know, inefficiently. And, um, not only is it weak to, like, fire and strike, which is what Junpei uses most, but he also has Mazio which is what Yukari's weak to, so he's always knocking down Yukari, which essentially means that both your party members, the only two party members you have in access at this moment in time, are useless, essentially. I mean, you know, with the, with the occasional maybe one or two damages, they're always kind of being knocked down, which is horrible. So 
you know, it's kind of just up to Minato to do all the work. And this is horrible. Um, I'm pretty sure if, an, if you're one of your party members is dead, they won't get the XP, which is unfortunate. So I want to revive Jim Pitt just so he gets the XP because that's sort of important to have. I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste that. And he's incurring power of Jaka. He has, he has a buff, and that's horrible. And um, Yukari is finally using her healing spells. Um, I think the first time he, she uses the healing spell, she actually has this specific quote that goes along with it. But I probably he probably triggered that during off screen, so. Got the buck down. Um, this guy would have been dead by now if he didn't dodge frickin' two Zeos. I don't know why. Oh, gosh, that's that's just horrible. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no guard command like there is in Persona 4 that keeps me from being knocked down. So, you know, I'm kind of just left. He kind of just has to take it, which is exactly why. <laughs> I need to kill this guy right now. And he's dead. Yes, is anyone tired? No, I would have been tired. We got a bomb of life for that. Nice. Anyone level up? I'd level up from that. I mean, no one. Huh, surprising. Um, if someone dies in a boss fight, or in battle, they actually don't get revived, they just lay dead on the floor. You can revive them if you have, like, Recarm, which no one has yet, or no one will have for a while, or a revival bead. Um, I think if you change floors, if you change floors, I don't know what happens, but I know for a fact that if you could return to the entrance when someone is dead, they will they will return home, and I don't blame them because if I if I died, <laughs> I would not want to be exploring any more of Tartarus for that day. Probably need to take a few a personal day off, to be perfectly honest. Um. Anyways, these chumps. I don't know why I'm even wasting my time with them because honestly, I just take down a giant chariot thing. Do these things honestly seem like a trouble? Um, however, we do want the shuffle time, we get Nekomata, we are low on Nekomatas, we are fresh out of Nekomata, so we want another one of them, because Kenji is, um, that had, because you can get a benefit from the Magician shows the link, because Nekomata is Magician Arcana. Um, at this point in the game, it actually, not only do you want Personas, you know, for battle, you also want to have a Persona just for your social link, so, you know, as it gets more complicated, you do need to have a bunch of different personas, not only just for battle, but also for the specific thing of social links. Anyway, so we finally hit our blockade, which means we don't have to do any more Tartarus stuff. Typically, if you can get here before the, um, before the full moon, spoilers, <laughs> um, you're pretty set for the final boss, but we do want to get the document, which if you can get before the full moon, it meets Elizabeth's request, and, um, in the next part, we will be doing social links. How exciting, because we are done with Tartarus, but until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!